So hi guys and welcome to this video demonstrating the use of these resistance tubes. They're just a little bit different to the resistance bands but the same principle using that um, stretchy elasticness as a resistance for exercises. Now this lovely set is from a company called Fit Beast who you can get their products um, on Amazon and um, they come with um, some handles that rotate and some ankle straps and a fantastic thing that slots through the door with a little bobble on the other side so you can close the door on it and you can have it whatever height um, that works for you for your exercises. Now I'm going to take you through my favourite resistance exercises today with the Pilates feel to them. So as a physiotherapist myself these should all be nice safe exercises as long as you've got permission to exercise and you don't have any problems um, that stop you. Um, if at any point you have any problems then please stop and feel free to message me and we may be able to set up an appointment to sort those out. So um, I'm going to use the lightest resistance band for our abdominal exercises, that's the yellow one here. And I've got these handles already attached for ease. So let's get into our lovely setup, feet hip width apart, shoulders down away from the ears, little arch in the back. Their arms up in front of you, tuck through your chin, elbows straight. And first of all, just using the arms to pull down there, you're having to use your abdominals very slightly, but it's also a good arm exercise. Good, so with the arms up in front, then we can do some crunches. Tuck the chin, lengthen the back of the neck. Maintain that little arch in the lower back as you go, so that you are using your deep abdominals as well as possible. And then we can bring the legs up to tabletop, draw in through your tummy, and you can crunch like so. These are lovely exercises for toning with a little bit of resistance. Now, you can do any of your favourite exercises here with your arms up in front and a little bit of tension through the bands because that gives you that connection down through the ribs to the pelvis at the front. Good. All right. So let me demonstrate next with the next band up, the blue one here. And I've already attached the ankle or foot straps here. So what I want you to do one leg at a time is put your foot in there. So it's on the instep rather than around the ankle. Now, once you've got those in, just let your legs come straight up. And now that takes the pressure off. It takes a little bit of pressure off the lower back, gives you a nice stretch up through the legs. You can shuffle to wherever feels right on the mat. There, good. And we can bring one leg down at a time. You can try your best to maintain the little arch in the lower back. Keep your ribs down, chest open. Flex as you come down, point as you go up. Now these lovely padded straps feel good underneath the foot. There. Good. Now we can do big circles with the legs. Now my bed's in the way there a little bit, so I'm going to rotate slightly. You can do big circles, point the toes on the way up. Nice straight legs lead around with the heel. Point the toes on the way up lead around with the heel and squeeze your glutes a little bit there which can stop any clicking that you may or may not have in the front of the hip some people suffer with that good lovely now if you bring your feet down and the bands to the outside of your knees there then we can do some shoulder bridges you can curl up so your body comes between the bands and come back down one of my favourite exercises here is if you curl up, stretch one leg out, point and flex, point and flex. So lots of stretching down through the back of the leg, but we're holding ourselves up with the other leg through the glute here. Good. Strong through your abs, squeezing through your glutes. That should be about 10. Bring that leg down, try and stay up. Stretch the other leg out, point and flex. Good. Wonderful. Two 
more. <laughs> Ten. Lovely. Bring that leg down and curl back down while we've got the bands on our feet. Let's take one off the, um, the left foot and put it on the right there. Now with double bands, we are able to push the leg away. Now keep that knee high and push the leg away. Keep the other one firmly on the floor. Good. And that gives you fantastic glute work. Five. There are loads of variations of these, but you can do any exercises that you would do otherwise. Now what I'm replicating here is reformer Pilates, if any of you have done that. Lovely. I'm going to demonstrate turning over to the other side because that is quite important. Shuffling over and then get the bands on that foot, pushing away. Good. Keeping strong, keeping the waist strong, keeping the leg high, keeping the knee high, especially. Good. Lovely. Fantastic for the glutes there. Now take those bands off that foot and then what we're going to do, I want to kneel and face you here because we're going to be doing our arm exercises. One band in each hand. Now what I'm going to do here is go back to my original bands, the lighter resistance that we use for our abdominals. Kneeling provides a really good um, place to work on our core. We're not quite as stable in this position, so it's a fantastic place to work on the core. What I want is this band on your thigh across the front of the body. The other one is pushing straight up. Let me come just a little bit further back so you can see. It's pushing straight up. Good. Three, four, five. Two more. Lovely. Now you can bring that hand onto your thigh, shuffle away just a little bit and pull out and across with the other arm. Good. Three. Good. Draw in your tummy, scoop and tuck your bottom under. Follow it with your head. Lovely. Shuffle back in a little bit and we're pushing over. Stay in the side bend. Draw in through your tummy and pushing over to the side there. guys so just to demonstrate on the other side facing away bring the furthest arm onto the thigh and the closest one pushing straighter remembering to tuck the bottom and to take the weight a little bit back there chest open pushing straight up good staying strong bring that hand on your thigh shuffle a little bit away tap the shoulder and pull out if in doubt, start on the lighter resistance with these ones. Your arms will certainly be feeling it after this. Good. Slide that hand down your thigh and pushing over. Stay in your side bend and push down your thigh as far as you can with that hand. Lovely. All right, now the last arm exercise, if you face the attachment there, bring the arms down by your sides, tuck your bottom under and pulsing the arms back. Good. Lovely. So there are hundreds of exercises that you can do with this set of tubes, resistance tubes, and the handy attachments just make this whole thing that little bit easier to do. You don't have to spend too much time investing in setting up. It's perfect to fix it through the door frame there, and then you've got good resistance to pull in this direction. Now, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration of um, Pilates with the resistance tubes. If you repeat that workout regularly, you will get excellent toning, good improvements of your posture and stretched out through your limbs as you probably felt it when you're lying on your back.
Make sure you have a look around the rest of my channel for plenty of Pilates workouts with equipment, the type of stuff that you've got around the home or different demonstrations of equipment that is out there on the market.